This is John Baldessari's pencil. This is John Baldessari's chair. This is what John Baldessari sees when he sits at his desk. This is a film about John Baldessari, the artist. John Baldessari decided that this film should be narrated by me, Tom Waits. He's uh, got a great voice. Thanks, John. John Baldessari has been called the godfather of conceptual art, a master of appropriation, a surrealist for the digital age. He's made paintings, photographs, billboards, videos, films, sculptures, digital art, credit cards, and an iPhone app. In 1970, John Baldessari burned everything he ever made. It was in a crematorium, so the proper term would be cremated, I suppose. We'll get back to that. John Baldessari is a towering figure. He's six foot seven inches tall. Cool, yeah, you get a lot of, you know, how's the weather up there, blah, blah, blah. John Baldessari's studio door has two peepholes, regular height and Baldessari height. John Baldessari wonders about Clint Eastwood's height. How tall is he? John can be instantly recognized by his big, beautiful beard. So it's pretty much the same color as my hair. John Baldessari has had over 200 solo shows and over 1,000 group shows. John's awards and honors include membership in the American Academy of Arts and Letters, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, and the Golden Lion for Lifetime Achievement Award at the Venice Biennale in 2009. For the art lifetime, Jesus, Jesus Christ. This is John Baldessari's coffee machine. That's John Baldessari's Wi-Fi password. In 100 years, John Baldessari suspects he will be best remembered as... Oh, the guy that put dots over people's faces. <laughs> John Baldessari is so successful that he carries absolutely nothing in his pockets. Not a thing. John Baldessari was born and raised in National City, California, 15 minutes from the Mexican border. Another former resident is me, Tom Waits. The art scene in National City in the 1960s was... It was probably me. <laughs> John printed text on canvas and he called it art. He also took photographs with intentionally bad compositions and he called it wrong. The artist calls it artist's art. In 1970, John Baldessari decided to cremate all the paintings he made between 1953 and 1966. I still have the ashes in a bronze urn in the shape of a book suitable for your library shelf. This is John Baldessari's library. These are John Baldessari's push pins. Baldessari once said that the most important artist of the 1960s was not Andy Warhol or Jasper Johns, but the director. Jean-Luc Godard. I probably did say it. John Baldessari has a huge collection of film stills organized by subject. Guy riding a horse, Indian riding a horse, guy being shot with an arrow, Indian falling off a horse, and I've, I've, a lot of shots were kissing. This is John Baldessari's dog, Giotto. In 1971, John Baldessari made a famous announcement. I will not make any boring art. Baldessari made a video in which he wrote the phrase until the tape ran out. I will not make any more boring art. Baldessari had many photographs taken of himself, covering his face with different hats, waving at sailboats, hitting objects with a golf club. He was making art. I am making art. I am making art. I am making art. One day, John Baldessari made a simple discovery. Dots. I, I just had these price stickers I was using for something else in some graphic way, and I put them on all the faces, and I just felt like it leveled a playing field. Baldessari's work was hailed as cool, funny, cerebral, sardonic, provocative. I think it's just my take on the world. Baldessari's name is internationally recognized. Cool. Ladies think his name sounds sexy. I can live with that. John Baldessari's recent blockbuster exhibition, Pure Beauty, started at the Tate Modern in London, traveled to Barcelona, then to LACMA, then finally touched down at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. John Baldessari has influenced an entire generation of the world's leading artists. The studio is filled with thank you notes and inscribed books. Some of the inscriptions say gratitude, friendship, thank you, and mentor. 
John Baldessari believes that every young artist should know three things. One. Talent is cheap. Two. You have to be possessed, which you can't will. And three. Being at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Make any more boring art. I will not make any more boring art. I will not make any more boring art. This is John Baldessari waving goodbye. Bye, John. <laughs>